My name is Bill Schneider. I'm here with Michael Simpson, who is the golf course superintendent at Los Altos Golf and Country Club. We're here in April of 2011 in Los Altos, California, doing an oak tree forestation project. We're planting two native species of oak here, the coastal live oak and the valley oak. And we chose these because being native, uh, they fit in well with the landscape, uh, they're long-lived, and if we plant them properly, they'll require no irrigation or maintenance. Now you might ask, why are we using water boxes to plant these trees? Because they grow here on their own. And we live in a, or this is a, a Mediterranean environment, a Mediterranean climate. We get rain in the winter, but no rain in the summer. And so for uh, a given oak seedling to survive, the conditions have to be just right in terms of location and the amount of water it gets. And any given seedling uh, doesn't have that high a chance of survival. And we believe that by using the water box, we'll get close to 100% survival, regardless of the conditions and without any need for irrigation or hand watering. And this will make the cost low for planting each one of these. Now, in order to test whether or not we really do get this advantage with the water box, we'll be planting some oak trees without water boxes. Some of those will water and some of those we will not. Here we have a coast live oak, newly sprouted, with a, with a minimal top growth and a fully developed, unimpaired root base. We think this is uh, going to give us the best chance for a healthy plant. We've selected a site. Uh, it's on a slight incline, so we've had to level a small area, dug a hole to accommodate the roots. Brent will be cupping the uh, roots with his arm and adding soil. Then he'll water it in and then we'll start the process of attaching the water box. Brent now has the water box which he'll place over the seedling. Then he'll take the anchor spikes and on each side place the anchors. And the last step is fill the water box with water. Attach the lid and installation is complete. No other maintenance or watering will be necessary. These boxes will be removed at the end of next summer, at which time the root system will be developed enough to maintain themselves on their own. 